Right here. The light was awesome. Greetings. Welcome to Ocean Falls. the corner on the ferry and Ocean Falls just came into view. Uh, we've been coming down this bay with really steep sides and high peaks and this is the first look we're getting at Ocean Falls. It looks pretty remote is the first thing I'm like. This place is out there. Once again we will be arriving at Ocean Falls Terminal shortly. I think we've got a room reserved at the hotel so we're good for tonight. I think they've got room for us. We'll see. On the central coast of British Columbia is the town of Ocean Falls, situated around a waterfall at the end of Cousins Inlet. It was entirely a company-built town, owned by Crown Zellerback, which opened a pulp and paper mill there in 1912. A mill requires an immense, consistent, and reliable source of wood fiber, as well as high power demands which this site provided in spades with the surrounding forests and hydroelectric dam. The mill was the largest in BC for many years and the diverse population grew to 3,500 people by 1950. There was no poverty and no welfare because people came here to work and a strong work ethic was highly valued. Even the current premier, John Horgan, worked at the mill as a university student. My brother and I walked the streets to see what's left, although most of it is gone. So this is the Martin Hotel, one of the largest buildings left standing in town. And during the golden years of Ocean Falls, it was one of the province's largest hotels. It had 400 rooms and 600 beds. And we're gonna go in and take a look. This is the ballroom. Uh, they called it the blue room and where all celebrations and fancy dinners and dances happened. Exploring the hotel was like stepping back in time or stepping onto a film set. There were even remnants of the bowling alley left in the basement. Wow, the color of this room is just fantastic. I love these oranges and the peeling paint just everywhere. It adds a great texture. There's like stalactites and stalagmites for me. If the people in the town see faces in the windows, it's just me looking out. Didn't you always want your office to have some beautiful foliage to brighten your day? The color palette of this hotel is very Wes Anderson-esque. It's just got these soft pastels and bright oranges, yellows, kind of soft purples. It's very unique. printer. It's called the Just Stetner 360. It's pretty much 400 rooms of peeling paint. And even the, all the copper pipe has been stripped. 
And that's the reason why every single sink is on the ground. Someone's come in and salvaged every piece of copper pipe in the whole building. A couple of laundry baskets. I like laundry baskets. Almost everything is eerily empty. By the 70s, the mill was deemed inefficient and uneconomical and was going to be shut down in 1973 until the BC government stepped in to keep it running. They bought both the town and the mill for only 789,000 bucks, keeping the mill operating until 1980 when it shut down for good. This spelled the end for Ocean Falls. Nothing but a concrete block. It just looks like a communist building. Soviet era. From up here you can see how green Ocean Falls is and uh, how much has disappeared. It's just being reclaimed by the trees and reclaimed by nature and just kind of fading into the undergrowth. What humans abandon, nature reclaims. It's only a matter of time. Although it's a little sad to see all these empty houses, at the sta same time, I still think they're pretty beautiful as they're getting overgrown. And it's not something that you get to see every day, that's for sure. We did speak to some locals who live in the Martin Valley, just down the road from Ocean Falls, but they didn't want to be recorded. Some of them choose to live here to get away from big cities and the issues of modern society. And the crazier this world gets every day, the more you understand where they're coming from. Just setting up our camp above the dam at Ocean Falls, and uh, this place is already has a population of about 30,000 residents. That's just the bugs in this place. Just swarms of them up here. 